Pedro Ballester was born in Manchester on the 22nd of May 1996. The eldest of three brothers, he grew up in the north of England. People always noticed his kindness and how he liked to help others. He worked hard in school and was a good friend to everyone. He had lots of cultural interests. He was able to enjoy the life that he had. In his late teens, his deep faith led him to dedicate his life to God, living apostolic celibacy as a numerary member of Opus Dei. He sought to love Jesus Christ above all things through his studies, friendships and ordinary life. I always felt when I was talking to Pedro I was learning something and I felt I was learning something then. I really liked going out, having a drink, whatever, and he always said, you know, God can see you in in all these situations. He always said it in a really friendly way. When he was able to uh, discuss his faith or challenge me, he did with an intellect. In December 2014, shortly after starting university, he was diagnosed with advanced cancer of the pelvis. I just hugged him because that was the first time that we, we heard officially that he had the cancer. And then he, he just said, Mom, I gave my life with my vocation um, and he gave his cross to his friends. He believed his suffering could help others. So he prayed for the Pope, the Church and everyone else. Pedro looked at him and he said, um, I'm a new member of Opus Dei. I got cancer and I offer all this for the church and for yourself. He always welcomed anyone who went to see him, no matter how much pain he was in. Pedro's strength and calmness during his illness inspired many people to get closer to God and the church. He was always able to kind of reach out to other people and ask them, you know, for their particular needs. And I said to him, how do, you, how do you still live that? Like, you can't be living that anymore, this idea of being the best that you can be. And he said, every opportunity you have, there's an opportunity to do it to the best of your ability. And he told me about his experience in the hospital and how important it was that he um, was the best patient he could be and the best son he could be and the best brother he could be. Javi, I would go through all this suffering, the chemotherapy, the pain, everything, knowing how many people we have helped. He said to me, um, I'm, I'm not afraid. And that told me everything about his spiritual life. Pedro passed away on the 13th of January 2018. From the very day of his death, there have been reports of favours obtained through his intercession. So yeah, so anyway. God's got more things in store for us.